giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. All well, right. I just spoiled number five, so because <laughs> I changed, <laughs> I changed your name and then switched over to the next slide. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. We should probably move along anyway. There we go. <laughs> All right. okay. In the five spot, as you just learned, is Team 118. From League City, Texas and Clear Creek High School, it's the Robonauts. They have an overall record of 50 and 4, and they were the winners of the Arizona North, El Paso, uh, Arizona North Regional, and the El Paso and Pasadena District events. So getting that early district win in El Paso, 118 would jump outside of districts and pick up a win in Arizona. And uh, they would return to their home state this past weekend and would go a perfect 12-0 and with a 3.66 ranking score average in qualification matches. Um, they picked up 231 and 76-91 and would take home the win, um, even after losing finals match one there. They're just so smooth around the field, and I just uh, really love how they just drift into their scoring position. I'm a team I'm also really excited to see in Houston because I haven't seen them in a few years, uh, thanks to, to two champs. But... Um, they, but they first have, um, the first in Texas district championship this weekend, uh, where they're currently tied for uh, second in the state, uh, with 148. So congrats to them and good luck to 118 going forward. All right. So speaking of 148, we'll just go right to them. <laughs> so, uh, so in our fourth spot is 148. From Greenville, Texas, Greenville High School, it's the Robo Wranglers. 33 wins, only three losses, and we're the winners, the Amarillo and Dallas District events. So Texas is going through their inaugural district season, and in two district events for 148, they've largely gone much how the regionals did for 148, and that's more blue banners. Overhang competed against 38 other events in Dallas and earned the number one spot via a cargo tiebreaker over 66-72. Those two teams would partner up in any limbs and along with 32-82 cruise to the event win. I'm sure 148 wants that inaugural te Texas district championship, and that's what's next for them, and good luck to Team 148, the Robo Wranglers. So I'm really excited for... Uh, for FIM champs, obviously, but the Texas champs is going to be really cool to watch, too. There's a lot of great teams that are going to be oh, there. Oh, yeah, that's going to be great. Mm -hmm. That's where producer Nick is right now. He's back on 148, and he's prepping uh, for, for FIT championships right now. So wow. definitely looking forward to it. And FIT. FIT. <laughs> just a different name. Like, just doesn't have the same ring to it. Like, I don't know. Like uh, bodybuilders. Like, like yeah. FIT. <laughs> Good FIT. <laughs> and FIT. <laughs> I don't know if they'll like that that much. I don't know. Yeah, we'll, keep, we'll, we'll, we'll keep workshopping it. We'll come up with something. All right. So moving on uh, from the te Texas district back to FIM and talk about team 33. From Auburn Hills, Michigan and Notre Dame Preparatory School, it's the Killer Bees. They have an overall record of 50 and 5, and they have four banners through their three events this season. So Southfield, uh, number one seed in a win, center line, number one seed in a win, and a district chairman's award. And this past weekend at Alpina, uh, number two event, they would take the number two seed and be selected number one overall and would take the win there. So four gold medals on the wow. year as they head into uh, uh, Michigan State Championship. So just another classic-looking 33 robot. They just quickly and easily handle game pieces uh, and deliver their um, to the cargo ship and to the rocket. Um, and they're currently ranked number one in FIM, and uh, just really posed uh, to make a deep run there at the Michigan State Championship. And, man, just another stellar, amazing robot from 33 and just that classic look that they always have. And uh, I just really like how they – really like the robot and how they um, acquire cargo um, and how they just use the kind of their dual uh, their dual mechanism there to, uh, to deliver to the, to the, um, the ship and the, and the cargo, cargo ship and the rocket. But, um, yeah, congratulations to, to 33. Well, and 33 is kind of, I think, a little bit in uh, the same scope that 971 and 987 were last year. Uh, not as much in regards because they, they had a little bit more on the blue banner side, I think. But I think their robot this year is just performing way better to expectations than what they did last year. Where, if I remember correctly, they had some breakdowns. They were out at, in quarters at MSC last year uh, and out in quarters uh, at championships last year. So uh, I, I have big hopes for 33. I think the robot's looking absolutely incredible this year and is performing up to the par and I think expectations that they have as well. So uh, kudos to 33 and can't wait to see more of them. Yeah, I went to their uh, Blue Lions page on April Fool's and they had five banners there. I was like, oh my gosh, because <laughs> they do that participation <laughs> event thing. But I'm sure the five, five banners are more there uh, in a few weeks here. Oh, somebody was sending me their, uh, this is what their Twitter page looked like, by the way, for April Fool's, is that they switched with the... Uh, <laughs> With the 
uh, Robo Jackets and became the Killer Jackets and combined their team names. So that was their April Fool's joke uh, that they did as well. Killer Jackets. Awesome. Nice. All right, Mike, ready for that drama spot? Sorry, we got drama spot. All the drama. Hashtag drama spot. <laughs> so taking our number um, two spot is going to be team 11-14. From St. Catharines, Ontario, Canada, Governor Simcoe Secondary School, it's Hall of Fame Symbotics, 35-0 and and 1, undefeated, and we're winners of the Humber College and Windsor-Essex Great Lakes District events. So Snowstorm has been literally unstoppable this season. They haven't shown any signs of stopping. They have been the number one seed at both of their events with a combined RP of 15. And this past weekend, they teamed up with their friends, 1285, the Big Bang, and along with 7480, took the event win. Since the change from Red Powder Coat, which I really do miss, like I miss the Red Simbot robots, nothing else has changed with Simbot's dominance. They have another great machine, and I can't wait to watch Snowstorm roll into the Provincial Champs. So Simbotics undefeated. Um, and just uh, their robot is um, it's tough to it's tough to find new ways to describe the Simba robot yeah. <laughs> but this one looks uh, this one does look special it's absolutely mm-hmm. incredible excuse me yeah and they have, I mean that super quick climb at the end I think they had a, one of those buzzer beater climbs um, and they just it's so great because they can just maximize the time on the field right like so they can just keep scoring or, or you know have that chance at completing the rocket at the end or um or just, you know, get those, grab those extra few points, you know, and then just, you know, with seconds left, they can go up and, and get that half three climb. So, um, yeah, another great robot from 14. And those climbs, those fast climbs are going to prove to be uh, more of a game changer going on. Like, you're not scoring 117 points like we saw in Michigan and 114 points if you're going back to climb with 20 seconds left. Like, you're right. scoring cargo and hatches until the last second that you feel comfortable before getting back there um, and trying to get the climb. So, Excuse me. These teams with really fast climbs are just going to keep um, getting better and better. Yeah. Well, it's just the way that the meta of the game is going to evolve, right? Yep. It's like you can't Absolutely. you can't climb and have five seconds left to spare. That's just not Correct. the way it's going to be. Yep. Absolutely right. And it's going there's it's going to cause some heartbreak too. Like some teams oh, are going to push yeah. the limit and they're going to get up and they're just not going to not going to get on. But I may also make um, the game a bit more exciting too. So who knows? Yeah. Right? And we all win in that case, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Except the team that loses. Okay. <laughs> all right. Fair. Fair enough. <laughs> All right, so we've reached the we've reached the top spot. 2019 uh, FC Top 25 Week Five in the number one spot is team number 254. From San Jose, California, and Bellarmine College Prep, it's the Cheesy Poofs. They have an overall record of 31 and one, and they were the winners of the San Francisco and the Silicon Valley Regionals. So 254 is known for their head-turning robots, and this year they kind of applied that concept to the to their own design with the turret that they have. Their quick cycles are even aided even more in the fact that they can just weave and bob through defense um, and just spin their turret to score, uh, making defense in the game um, just sometimes non-existent, really non-effective at times. So four unicorn matches this past weekend. Um, with a 2.88 uh, ranking score average, they would be selected um, number one overall by 846 um, and take the win in six matches. So uh, just another team that I'm really excited to see um, in Houston. Um, one of those, they just always had their, one of those robots that you can just off, you know, you can just off from a distance and through the blue lines game day, but you just really can't appreciate it in, um, fully until you can really, um, really just watch it in person. And um, so... Really excited to see them there. Um, and congratulations and, and good luck to them uh, in Houston going forward. But I don't know what you guys have to add about 254, but just another lights out robot from them. But Chad's, Chad's bashing because they're on the number two alliance, not number one. But. Oh, oh, number two. All right. Oh. I made a mistake. Mistakes. Oh, no. All uh, right. I, mean, I, I don't have much to say about it. I didn't get too much of an opportunity to watch 254 this weekend, to be honest with you. Um, from what I saw last time, I thought – they had some room to approve. Uh, you know, if they went they went undefeated at the event, I think that does say something. Uh, <laughs> yeah, no so, kidding. I mean, it, it's easy to bash them enough. They didn't, of course, get all the RPs they were looking for. Uh, and I, I don't know, guys. I mean, it's uh, it's so easy to bash in 254 because they're not the perfect robot they were last year. And yet they're still doing quite well. So it's I, whatever, right? Yeah, I'm not going to. Haters going to hate. So. I'm not going to oh, put up with this discussion. That. I mean, last year they didn't lose a single official match, fifty-three and zero, and this year they're thirty and one. 
their, their past two years at combined are 83 and one. <laughs> I'm not sure we're really allowed to critique very much of their robot. Um, yeah. Well, I think sometimes what happens is we, you know, this was kind of the thing with 987. It's like, we talk about them in a, in a different standard, you know, like mm-hmm. where we say where, oh, it's not up, you know, but they're still really good, you know, so it's, uh, we do, you know, whatever. But That's 83 great. and great one. point, guys. We need your help to keep fun at Loud, Live, and Independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.